Hello, in this video we're going to go over Aura, an AI assistant that aims to help you with your Unreal Engine projects. It can create prototype levels, it can create 3D models, and it has contextual understanding of your Unreal Engine project, so it should be able to help you if you encounter any errors, or it can help you if you want to create certain features in your project. Before we get started, if you're completely new to Unreal Engine, make sure to check out my free Unreal Engine beginner course. You can find a link to it in the description of the video. It's good to have a good fundamental knowledge of Unreal Engine before we start adding external tools. With that being said, let's get started. So I've enabled Aura into my Unreal Engine project where I basically made a game where 100 men fight one gorilla. If I play it, you can see I'm this gorilla character and there are 100 men and I kill them. Just to test Aura, I can ask it for a summary of my project. So I've asked it to give me a summary of my project and I'll just wait to hear what it says. Okay, so based on its investigation, you can see my project is a gorilla vs man project. My project appears to be a combat slash fighting game featuring two main characters, a gorilla and a human. Set in a basic level environment, it's just giving me some details about my character. So Aura understands my project, let's see if it can help me. So I published the tutorial on how to make this game online and someone asked me this. I really enjoyed this project. I've tried to get the humans to stop punching when the gorilla's health is zero, but I can't figure it out. Any solutions? Let's see if Aura can help us with this. So I'm just going to copy this question and I'm going to go back to my Unreal Engine project. And since Aura has a understanding of my Unreal Engine project, it should hopefully be able to help me answer this. So I'm just going to ask it this question or remove the first part. Okay, so Aura has identified what's happening and it's given me a solution to fix it. Just so that you can see the issue firsthand, if I play my game, I'm gonna let the humans kill me. When I die, we can see the humans are still punching me. So the person who commented that would like a response on how to fix that. So let's see if I can follow Aura to basically fix that. So it's asked me to open up my human blueprint. And then on C pawn, it has asked me to cast to the gorilla. So I'm just gonna go up here and cast to my Gorilla, connect from here to here, then it's asked me to get the health from the Gorilla, so let me just get the health, and I want to basically do a branch condition to see if the health is greater than zero, so let me just do that, I'll see if this is greater than zero, let me just move everything back. Then for the second step, it's asked me to basically go here, on success, it basically wants me to um, get the target actor, which is the get play character, drag off here and cast to the VP gorilla again. Connect from here to here and then just drag off here and get the health of the gorilla and check that this is greater than zero. I will just move this forwards. and have a branch and connect from here into here into into here. I probably wouldn't want to do two casts like this for memory reasons but this solution will work and is an effective solution so if I just compile this now and if I close this and I play my game let's say I die the humans only look like punching me so Aura was able to help me with that, which is super cool. Next, Aura can also help me generate images for my game. So right now I have my gorilla game, but I want to add an icon of a gorilla face, which I'm going to add to my gorilla health bar. So let's see if Aura can help me with that. So here in the type message, I'm just going to say, generate me a face icon of an angry gorilla. And let's see what Aura will create for us. Okay, so Aura has now generated me an image of an angry gorilla. Let me just go to where it generated it. So if I go to my content folder, then if I go to the generated images folder, I think I just have to right click here and go show and explorer to see the image. And it's generated me what I asked for, a face icon of an angry gorilla. Let me just drag and import it into here. So I've now added this gorilla image to my game and now I can see it. Nice. We can also use this image generation feature to generate textures for our level. So instead of having this um, blue prototype level, I can ask it to generate me a texture of some dirt material. Okay, so it's now done that for me. 
Let me just right click and show Explorer, and I can see the dirt texture. I'll just drag it into my level. And now I have a dirt texture. As well as generating just 2D images as well, Aura can help generate 3D models. So let's go over how we do that. I'm going to start a new chat. I can go here and easily create a new chat. And I'm going to ask it to generate me a 3D model of a large rock. Okay, and as you can see, it generated me a 3D model of a rock. And I can see it in my game. Pretty cool. I asked it to generate me a 3D model of a banana because I'm making a gorilla game. Although one note about the models it generates, if I just open up the banana, the banana seems to have a lot of polygons, so you probably won't want to use this in your final game, but this is good for prototyping if you wanted to just generate assets which kind of match the vibe of your project. And there's one more super cool feature that Aura can do, which I want to show you right now. So I'm just going to go File, New Level, and I'm going to create a new level. I'll save everything here. Then I'm going to ask Aura in a new chat to generate me a 3D level block out for my game. Generate me a 3D level block out. Okay, so Aura has generated me a 3D um, level block out for my level. Let's test it out and play it. This should be good for prototyping. So that, in summary, is Aura. It can help you with your Unreal Engine projects because it can have contextual understanding of them. It can help generate 2D images, 3D models, and even help with some prototype level design. Seems like a pretty cool tool. Okay, so now we've covered what Aura can do. Let's go over its pricing. Right now, they said it's going to have a free tier and a paid tier. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost, although that's the info I have, and I thought I'd just share it. Let me know in the comments what you think about tools like this. I think this is a pretty cool tool. The creator of it reached out to me and I thought it was pretty nice, so I thought I'd just showcase it. If you want to try out the tool, um, right now it's in development, but you can get on the waiting list. I'll leave a link to that in the description of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!